Well, Senator Warner, I want to thank you for being with us here today to talk about our new report, Power Surge. You have a very unique perspective, both from um, you know, the military's point of view, serving in the military, leading the military, and then, of course, in an oversight role. So tell us why it's important for the, for the United States military to innovate when it comes to energy. It's vitally important that the United States have a military that can move out as quickly as possible. And so we need a diversified, reliable source of energy ready to go. Um, as you know, the Department of Defense has a $4 billion annual energy bill when it comes to installation energy. And in addition to trying to uh, lower that bill, they're also trying to provide more mission assurance and comply with uh, with requirements placed upon them by Congress and the executive branch. The military traditionally has been ready and now they've recognized with this energy situation the need to diversify and not just rely on say one grid coming in to supply the base. If that grid went down the base is somewhat incapacitated. Um, I'm not sure that the American public really knows that a lot of combat operations are actually operated right out of domestic bases. That's it's not correct. just overseas. Because of the uh, satellite system, the ability through the internet, a lot of the command positions are right here in the United States. And they've got to have power 24-7 from reliable sources, plural. And the Department of Defense is uniquely equipped to be able to not only test, but deploy new technologies. They certainly are employing efficiency whenever and wherever they can. And in the case of renewables, they have decided that some renewables work some places and not others. It's natural. There are certain areas of the country where solar energy is quite efficient. There are areas where you've got geothermal, which is coming the heat from the ground. There are areas where uh, wind energy is readily available. So they have to blend their use of putting a higher priority on renewable energy in those areas where certain types are, are cost effective. So we point out in this report how utilization of the knowledge of the private sector and the utilization of the capital structure of the private sector leverages the military to have more of its dollars to do the missions, achieve the efficiencies, and do the innovation. We do tell the soldier, sailor, airman story of how they are meeting the challenge of today's need to conserve energy and to diversify energy and where possible give a higher priority to the uses of renewable types of energy sources. And the, the Pentagon and the bases and the individuals and the all-volunteer force are moving out on this. And it's a great story. Well, Senator Warner, I want to thank you, thank you. for Pleasure. not only serving as a senior advisor to the Pew Project on National Security, Energy, and Climate Change, but helping us take a deeper dive and look at what the Department of Defense is doing when it comes to clean energy with our latest report, Power Surge. So thanks for being here. Well, on to the next challenge. This is a good report, and hopefully we'll dig down on another one soon.